Well, hello everybody. Today I'm doing a unboxing of a vintage mineral light, ultraviolet light. Now, vintage mineral lights are uh, readily available uh, on eBay and such, but what intrigued me about this one is that it came with the original box and uh, what appeared to be some original documentation. Now, I just got this in the mail and uh, it is wrapped up as the seller sent it, so I have not actually seen the contents of this box as of yet. So I thought uh, we could both take a look and discover what's inside together. Let's get to it. All right, uh, initial impressions, ultraviolet products there, uh, Los Angeles, California. Uh, handwritten mineral light. Uh, I got an old label. You can read it. Uh, mineral light model looks like Q-34 and uh, the serial number some old cloth tape holding the box together and it seems the seller has taped the top oh look at this all right original shipping label from Denver Equipment Company, from Ben H. Parker, Box 508 Golden, Colorado, to Ben H. Parker in Kokomo, Colorado. Back when you didn't need an address or zip code. Hell, I don't know. I don't even know. Maybe zip codes didn't exist back then. Not sure exactly how old this is. All right. And let's see if some... Seems a seller has wrapped all these pieces in plastic wrap. Keep them together. Okay. Uh, looks like we have some documentation in the bottom as well. Oh, okay. The, uh, seller has thoughtfully wrapped this documentation with a piece of cardboard to keep it straight. And we got a manual, fluorescent minerals. Uh, Canadian Aviation Electronics. We have a <laughs> we have a manual for a, for something that is uh, not in this box, a centillimeter, not even sure what that is, but we can find out. Oh man, look at this. That's kind of cool. A little schematic from a centillimeter. Hey, check it out. Dated. Can you read that? May 14th, 1954. For this centillimeter. I'm not sure when this uh, little mimeograph thing pasted in there. Hurley radio. All right. What is this? Osgriff Hotel and Court. Chaz Gentry, manager, Craig, Colorado. Number 1628 standard sample. Not delivered in five days of return to. Oh, here's a little map of where Craig, Colorado is between Denver and Salt Lake. Doesn't seem to be anything in this envelope. But that's still pretty cool. So I guess this is the only actually relevant material uh, pertaining to this. Uh, particular device, the mineral light, price 25 cents. <laughs> I 
ultraviolet wavelengths. I guess it's just a manual of information about ultraviolet light. So it looks like some list of some uh, minerals that phosphoresce, etc. Uh, no uh, particular date or anything on here at all. I don't know, the, the way it's, the appearance of it uh, looks to me kind of like uh, late 30s, but um, you can really say for sure. Let's get to the uh, hardware. Uh, leather strap and Canvas webbing. Leather strap with canvas webbing. Uh, must be like a um, shoulder sling, I would imagine. This appears to be the power supply. Mineralite. Model Q34, 10 watts, 50 cycles per second. Look at this plug. This is Bakelite. Bakelite plug. Cloth wiring in nice shape. And here's the wall plug. I love that old crinkle paint. Look at that. Oh, got a light the switch too. There appears to be a serial number. Looks like 5054. And last but certainly not least. The actual mineral light itself. Mineral light model Q33, 6 volts DC. Looks like there's our plug. Um, there's something that was printed under here. Looks like the Crackle paint's kind of peeling off. A little hard to read, hard to tell. Uh, looks like 1431687. Unsure of the significance of those numbers. Here we go. Got some uh, stamping here. Ultraviolet Product Incorporated, Los Angeles. Hmm, looks like we're missing of a bracket. Someone had to use tape to hold it on. This side says mineral light patent applied for. This cloth, cloth cord I'm not sure what these are for. I would imagine an external battery source. And of course, we have this seems kind of rubbery, but not quite rubber. Smooth cord, decent condition. You can hand hold it. So, you know, it's it's been used, but uh, fairly well taken care of over the years, it seems. A little bit of paint missing. Gives it character. So, uh, plug this in. Looks like it plug and rotate, maybe. There we go. 
and plug this into the wall. So, uh, turn this guy on. see what happens. Hey, look at that. Functional. Oh, the, I don't know, the switch does not seem to work, but maybe that's, uh, the switch is overridden by the power supply, perhaps. Doesn't make any noise. The uh, other mineral light I have makes um, a humming or buzzing noise. But this one is uh, this one's silent. All right, so I cut away for a bit and uh, figured out this uh, neck strap. Looks like it goes through these loops, metal uh, brackets here, and around the neck this way. And the extra strap with a clip on it attaches to the handset. Also grabbed a six volt lantern battery. Uh, it's not a particular type that's designed for this. I would imagine with these, it uses those little screw on contacts, but uh, for proof of concept, this works. And uh, I'll turn off the lights. This is the little uh, incandescent bulb. See? And then on the uh, switch down, powers the ultraviolet. You can probably hear humming like uh, with my other model of mineral light. Also grabbed a few uh, neon tubes. Got Voltark Green, EGL Flamingo, Voltark Purple, Voltark Blue, and another Voltark Purple. So, see the uh, phosphors glowing with the ultraviolet light. Well, anyway, that's about it for this one. Thanks for watching and uh, discovering what we had in this uh, vintage Mineralite box. Hit subscribe for uh, more neon-related videos. See you next time.